Hey there, this is Steve Harris with MuseThemes.com. This is just a quick video on how to use our MuseThemes library and toolbox files and a couple of different methods you can use to actually open them in Muse, delete them out, and why exactly we force you to re-download the toolbox file each time we post new releases. So if you've just signed up to the site and you're in the members download section, you'll see the widgets and the toolbox files listed here. And if we click on one of them, let's just select the widgets, we download the zip, and let's just save our file and I'm going to save it to a directory called widgets. There. We'll just let that download for a moment. And at the same time, I'm going to get our toolbox file down downloading as well. Okay, perfect. So once you have those files downloaded, let's just jump into the folder. And I'm going to extract the toolbox file for now. When we extract the file, you can see that we have a couple of different folders and files within. We have an instruction document. This is a PDF that just kind of explains how to remove old tools and widgets. Kind of a recap of this video. The next file we have is the actual toolbox, the .mulib file. This is the file that we need to open up in Muse to import all of our tools. So if we jump into Muse, and we look at the panel on the right, you can see that we have a widgets library open, but this is the widgets library that Muse ships with. It's not the library where you can import custom things. On my window here, that library panel actually isn't open. So if we click on window and library, you can see that we get one down below, and this is the user library. So I'm gonna close the Muse one so that we have a little more room, and I'll take you through a few of the options in this library panel. So the first and easiest way for you to get that MuLib file into Muse is just simply open it up with Muse. There. Um, now that I did that, you can see that the Muse themes dash toolbox file is directly in the library panel. And if I expand it, we can actually drag and drop any element out onto the page. So that's it. Now, when we post updates to these widgets, we require you to download the file again and re-import it. The reason we do that is because often new releases of Muse or new browser updates cause the widgets to break and we need to update the code that actually powers the widget. If all of our members were on different versions of widgets, it's really difficult for us to offer support for each person. So this way we can push out updates to our entire library at one time. And in fact, importing the entire folder of widgets is much, much faster than you having to download each individual one and import them one at a time. So if I were to download a new Muse Themes Toolbox file and re-import it, I'll show you what happens. Let's just open this again with Muse. And you can see we get a numbered version. Now it says Muse Themes Toolbox 2. Now you could simply delete that out or rename that. But what I like to do is if users have modified our toolbox files, you can actually export this one. So if we go down to these uh, buttons down below, you have import and export library. And if we were to export this toolbox library out as a separate file, we could keep it as a backup. For now though, I'm just going to delete the first toolbox item and let's just rename number two to not have a number on it. There. So that's the same as your original toolbox file was before. Let's have a look at the widgets now. The widgets work the same way. Simply unzip the file and within you'll find one MuLib file that contains all of our widgets. However, when you open that in Muse, and let's just do this a different way, I'm going to import it using this import button down in the panel, and I'll select the widgets MuLib and open it. Now you can see we get a whole bunch of folders, and we separated out all of our widgets by subfolder to make it a little bit easier to find. All of these widgets match up to the names you'll find in our widget vault, which can be found at musewidget.com. Now the way to use these items is you just simply open up any of the folders, click on an item and drag it out on the canvas and it's ready to go. From there, you can modify images and text as needed. When we push out an update to the Muse library file, again, the best way to do it is simply select your entire library, delete it out just like that and re-import it again by opening it with Muse. There you go. Now you've taken advantage of all the code updates we've done and you have our latest and greatest widgets. Hopefully this helps explain kind of the rationale behind why we've done it this way. But if you have any concerns or questions, please don't hesitate to give us a shout at support at musethemes.com. Thanks again.